So, hello. I was actually planning to do like a proper vlog about my holiday, but it looks like it's not gonna happen because the weather was crap and I was quite busy restoring my hot tub with my friends. So I decided that I'll just show you where I'm staying. So this is me family house in Latvia. Currently I'm out in a garden uh, by the lake and I'll just show you a little bit around. So that's a lake my house is by. You can't really swim in it but it's good for going out in a boat. I've got a little canoe which again I didn't have a chance to use because of the rainy weather but today is actually clearing up slightly and yeah so let's have a look around so up there that's a house we are actually renting out the top floor on Airbnb and let's have a look here so this is all the garden got quite a few apple trees and that's my neighbor's house and that's like a little old house which was built before the main one and here we go so the top floor is all rented out on Airbnb and obviously I only stay when um, there are there are gaps in the schedule so let's go further and this is my hot tub so after i think it was summertime last party all the seats floated up and the side panel here that all fell off so we rebuilt it all so that's the new seats inside and let's have a look so this is the back of the house. There's uh, another balcony here for the master bedroom. And some more plum trees and some apple trees. I think all the apples are finished now. So, yeah, so let's have a look at the front. That's the main drive. Got a little table and that's, once I move out, there are some people with kids moving in. So that's, that's all their stuff. So it's slightly messy inside, but we'll have a look anyways. So yeah, so that's the main entrance, main drive. So let's go inside and have a look what's going on there. So this is the entrance for the first floor. So let's go inside. As I said before, uh, there are some people with kids moving in once, once I leave tomorrow. So there are some, some of their stuff already here. And let's go up the stairs. So this is the main living area. So you've got the kitchen section there and a very lovely big lamps up there. Let's have a look at one of the master bedrooms. So I'm doing some cleaning up since I'm leaving tomorrow. It's a little bit messy, but here it is. And there's the master bedroom's balcony. And this is the bathroom. So let's move back. 
the other bedroom. Actually, let's have a look at the balcony first. So that's the view from the balcony. I'll tilt it up a bit. And as you can see, the balcony goes all the way around the front area. And we can see into the kitchen. And now, finally, let's go to the other bedroom. For that, there's a shower. Let's put some lights on. Not that. So I'll just step back. As you can see, very cool bathroom. If you're a bit shy, you can always pull this thing out. But since I'm staying on my own. And there are not many other people coming over, then that's fine. There's the other toilet with the lovely view. And this is the bedroom where I was staying in. I just like the view outside of the windows. You can see it's all nice and green. And you get to wake up quite early because of the light. So yeah, more time to enjoy your holiday. And I'm now gonna show you the last bedroom, but it's like a small children's bedroom uh, which is full with the people who are renting out after me with their stuff but yeah there's another little bedroom there let's switch off the lights so yeah so that's about it next thing i will go for a short walk i'll show you the just slightly around area. Um, and one of the little attractions, I guess I would call it here. So let's go for a little walk. I actually was planning to go to the shop, but since the sun is out, I think it's probably best if I do the filming now. So this is the house, as you can see from the street. Also, this still counts as um, Riga. So the border of the capital of Latvia, Riga, is actually on the lake side at the end of my garden. And this is the very end of the street. There's like three houses at the very end. As you can see, the road is uh, in a very interesting condition. Even this is supposed to be uh, still capital. Um, so yeah, so we're going for a little walk. As you can see, a lot of nature around and since it's autumn time, you can see all the leaves changing color very lovely time for walks if you don't mind a little bit of cold weather it's not too cold but overnight time it can get uh, quite chilly also I forgot to tell you about the house so the first floor uh, is heated by under floor heating so 
so it's nice and warm to walk with bare feet or in socks and as you can see perfect lovely autumn day the bus stop is probably I would say probably about seven minute walk in the speed I'm going now so first we'll stop at this little lovely attraction I was talking about before and then I'll just walk down to the bus stop so you can actually see the full distance so as you can see it's been raining heavily for quite a few days so it's a bit wet um, at this point also if you get the taxi from capital heart of the capital the very center it will probably cost you about 10 euros so it's not too bad especially if you don't travel alone so if you've got friends to share the ride with anyways and this is the little attraction i was talking about nothing too special just a very very old oak tree so let's see if i can show you so yeah massive old oak tree you can have a come and have a look It's even got its own name down here and as you can see it's, it is slowly dying it's got like a massive hole inside otherwise yeah quite pretty so let's carry on walking Let's see how far the bus stop is. And we are back back on the main road. There are currently got a uh, some work taking place on the lake they actually they are cleaning out the lake and the lake is just there uh, uh, the, the lake my house is by is actually connected to the river uh, which takes you to even bigger lake there's actually a even a little island in that lake takes a while to get there but I would say it's like a short day trip to get to the island and we are nearly at the bus stop So that's about it, this is where the bus stop is, as you can see there's a proper road cover, the buses are actually reasonably frequent, so let's just go back. So I think that's about it for this end of the where I've been staying the area. 
been out in town in the city a few times some good bars some cool uh, beer drinking places and since that's like a Latvian traditional drink there's uh, quite a choice anything from kind of like a pale beers with not too much uh, alcohol in them to beers called The Undertaker with uh, like 10% of alcohol so yeah that's about it